One time I came across a really cool product on Amazon, and it's simply called Aquanotes. Now, this is not a paid advertisement for Aquanotes, but it's a pretty cool little product because all it is is a waterproof notepad with suction cups, and you put it on the wall of your shower, and it has a waterproof pencil. And when you're in the shower, if you come up with a great idea or you think of something you need to do, someone you need to call, something you need to get at the store, you just jot it down on the notepad, tear the note off when you get out of the shower and take it with you, and you haven't forgotten your good idea. As it says on the box, no more great ideas down the drain, right? Now, Aaron and I might use uh, Aquanotes once in a while for that kind of purpose, but most of the time we use Aquanotes to write each other love notes. Now, every so often I'll get in the shower and there will be a note from Aaron on the wall on that notepad, or uh, maybe I've been out of town on a business trip and I come back and there'll be a note from Aaron, which is something I truly love. In fact, I love them so much, I've kept every one she's ever written me. Look at how thick that is, and they're pretty small little pieces of paper. And she always writes, uh, I love you on the bottom, or she puts a heart, or she'll write 143, which is our way of saying, I love you. Maybe you've heard of that. We send each other text messages like that. You know, uh, there's something powerful about getting a love note from someone that really means something to you. Now, I know that love is a verb and you show your love through your actions to other people, but the reality is, if you really think about it, loving words, words of encouragement, is a love language for people. If it wasn't, I wouldn't have kept every one of these notes. You know, it's been said that the Bible is God's love letter to us. I think that's probably true. Now, the Bible contains lots of information, and uh, it's historical, and it's really about uh, God's expression of love to humanity and humanity's uh, understanding of who God is and how we've responded back to him. But when you get into the New Testament, especially, you just see words over and over about God's love for you. And in 1 John 4, it says that God is love. And, and of course, uh, Romans 5, 8 says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. John three sixteen. we all know that one. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. 1 John three sixteen is very similar. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. So if I go back and look at these notes from Aaron every so often, why wouldn't we spend time in the Word? I mean, people tell me all the time, yeah, I know the Bible, I've read it, I, I've read the whole thing, or I've, I've read through it, I know what it says. I do too, but man, I read it every day, and we need to spend time drinking in these words of God's love for us because we need to be reminded of who God is, what he intends for us, his promises, his plan, his purposes for us, that we are children of his, and that he has a, a design and a plan for our lives. And and you can only find out that out as you continue to read the word daily. So I've got a little project for you this week, you know, because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And if there's somebody you love, then you've gone to the store and you've gotten them a card and you're, you're going to write your words of love for them in that card. But my suggestion is that you become a person who writes words of love to people regularly. Sometimes you might say, well, I think they know I love them, but I think people like to hear it whether it's a text message or you go out and you buy yourself a packet of Aquanotes or you just take some three by five index cards and you put love notes in the pocket of your husband's pants or in his shoe or uh, you know in his book bag or, or your wife's purse or your child's lunchbox. I think we need to be people who express love to each other openly, regularly. I think it makes all the difference in the world. If it didn't, again, I. I wouldn't have kept all of these. I hope you have a great week. I hope you'll do two things. Read the word of God faithfully to know what he says about his love for you. And I pray that you will continue to express your love for other people openly and in writing. And until next week, keep walking with Jesus.